Atar 7 may for some years now the uh, display of this my the touch display of this my HP pavilion uh, decided to uh, start giving me issues so uh, the problem here is that it registers false uh, touches so I'll just be uh, the display I'll just open the laptop and then you see uh, clicks dragging dropping like false uh, touches and it doesn't only happen when it's idle it happens also when i'm interacting for instance with my mouse so you see uh test being highlighted by themselves uh different uh clicks being registered so as it is now so when you we when you are faced with a problem like uh, this what you have to do is uh what everyone wants to do is just disable the touch device Sorry, the, uh, disable the touch uh, uh, input. So, on uh, Windows, it's quite easy and straightforward. You just go to the, the uh, device manager. Under the device manager, you see, uh, I think, human interface device, something like that, yes. Then under human interface devices, you select uh, uh, anything that has something like touch screen there. So if your laptop is a touch screen laptop like this uh, HP Pavilion, then you see something with uh, something like a touch screen, maybe HP something touch screen there. And then you disable it easy and straightforward. But what we have here is uh, a Linux uh, desktop. Now on Linux, it's also very easy to do. It's very easy to do, but with uh, under one condition and that condition is you are not using Wayland of course I'm not saying that if you are using Wayland as your windowing system for your uh, Linux uh, distro uh, you are you wouldn't be able to di uh, disable your uh, touchscreen but the method I'm going to uh, show you here only works for uh, x11 uh, based uh, Linux uh, it only works for x11 okay so let me just first of all uh so now if so if you want to do this on uh, your on your x11 windowing system uh first you have to make sure that you are using x11 or xbox now there are a lot of debates out there on which is better is it uh x11 or Wayland, or by how much, uh, how much does Wayland improve over uh, X11? Wayland or X11's what I've seen, what I've noticed is that <laughs> X11 actually is even better for me. I'm not saying for everyone, for me, X11 is actually better than. Uh, Wayland because the issues that I encounter with S11, sorry, with Wayland, I don't experience them there. Now, let me just show you one instance. If I have this, uh, look at this OBS studio. Now, currently, I'm using Wayland. Currently, I'm using Wayland and look at OBS studio. If I, if I try to add uh, a screen capture, the option is not there. You can see the option to add a screen capture. It's not there but if I switch to X11 the option will be there and I will be able to record the whole uh, screen so you, you get the point this is just one out of many other little little issues that I face uh, over the time but like I said I'm just an ordinary user a super user I might have a contrary opinion now we are currently on a Wayland uh, uh, windowing environment if I run X impute which is the command that I'm going to use to list uh, the different devices S input list is going to list them, and I'm supposed to look for the one with something like touch or touch screen. And as you can see from here, the one with this this ID, what's it called? ID ten is what uh, X will land touch. So this is supposed to work. Well. If I run X input disable ten, for instance, it's going to throw an error. Running S input on the WLAN server. CSP man page for more details. So this one is only going to work when we switch to 
uh, X11. And how do we switch to X11? Uh, it's very simple. Just log out and then your login screen. Okay, let me log out now. I will log out. And then in my login screen, I'll click as if I want to enter my password. I'll go to the bottom right corner, click on this that looks like uh, the gear, this setting, or something like setting here. And you can see here is Ubuntu. The default one well, windowing system will be uh, Wayland. And then this one that has Xorg. I'm going to check this one. So if I'm going to switch to X11, I'm going to select this Xorg. Okay. Come on, click here. And then I can now enter my password. So we are now in uh what's it called? X11 Windows system. So I'll come here, I'll run S Impute list. And you can see that the IDs of the devices they've changed. Now in other in some tutorials you might see because I've seen this before, some will ask you to just run S impute disable the ID. Now the ID of our torch here is should be this uh Elan Torch screen, right? And the ID should be 14. But one thing is that if you do this, the this ID might change. Okay, now I'm currently using a wireless a mouse. The ID is 14. I remember when I was when I had this because wireless mouse has different mode. When I had it plugged in directly, the ID of this uh, inland touch screen was 12. So disabling through this ID is uh, not right if you want to permanently disable your uh, touch screen. So what you do instead of using the ID, use the name like you have for instance here. You have Elan touch screen. This name has not changed since I've been using this for like two years now. The name has not changed, so the name is the same. So I'll come here. So I'll run S Impute. Okay. Now I'll run S Impute Display. I'll, let me copy the ID here. Paste it. Okay. Since I'm using the name, I'll put them uh, within square, uh, sorry, within uh, quotes. Let's impute disable this. Now when you do this, the touch will stop working. Like you can see, it will stop capturing any touch. It's not working. Out. But the problem is that if you restart your computer, you log in and log out again, this one, this uh the, your touch will start working. It's, it, it will it will resume working. So if I shut down, if I restart the computer, if I restart this uh, computer, the touch will resume working. Now to make this permanent, there are a uh, few ways you can do it. Uh, you can either use your bash profile, include the command in your bash profile or your uh, bash ROC uh, file. Or you can do it in the uh, the ordinary user way. And that is just coming here to uh, this startup. So I will add uh, a terminal. So what this does is that all these, when the computer, when you log in, these, uh, these commands, they are going to run. So any command that you add here is going to run. Now we'll call these... Uh, uh, disable touch screen. I will include X11 just to be to, just to remind me that this is only working uh, on X11. And I will type in the EPU, S impute uh, disable that touch screen. I think the name is Elan touch screen. Yeah, run this command. I can also include a comment. I was okay. This only works for X11 windowing system. Okay, <laughs> not bad. And I'll put it there. Now with this, anytime I anytime I run this, uh, anytime I resume, anytime I start up the computer, anytime I log in, this command is going to run. Okay. So that is it. With this, we permanently disabled this. So let me just show you. I will, I will log in. I will uh, shut down the computer and then start it again. And I will touch 
you find out that the touch screen is not going to work. Now I've shut it down. Let me power it on. Okay. So I'm running uh, Ubuntu alongside Windows on this particular computer. Now, if I so if I log in, everything. Uh, So I'll try to touch and see. You can see that nothing is working. Nothing is working anymore. So the touch, nothing works. 